Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafor and today I'll be showing you guys how to unwrap your 3D model inside the viewport. This is very easy to accomplish, though it will take a few steps, but I'll make sure you guys understand every step of the way. So first of all, we need to go to our user preference and enable a nice add-on which is free and it comes with Blender. So all you need to just, just do is type in SVG. So this is an image format used to export vectors image, vector image. So you will see the reason I did this right now. So we'll just enable the exporter. So I have it already enabled the importer and exporter. So once you click on that, then you can save your scene so that it's always enabled. Next, we add in our object. So I'll be using Susan. So I will just press F6 and select on generate UVs. So in the new Blender 2.8, automatically it's already set for you, so you don't need to worry about that. But for if you're still using the old one, then you need to click on that. I will just smooth out the object and bring out my UV editor. So let's make sure we have a UV. So as you can see, we already have one created for us. So the next step, is you go into your UVs and look for UV export and I think it's around here uh, okay so here you see UV export so if you don't see this UV export in your own scene that's also because you need to go back to your user preference and click on UV so you need to enable this. If you don't have it enabled, you're not going to see that option. So I already have it enabled. That's why I can see it in my own scene. So once you have that clicked, um, then we can export the UV map. So we just click on export UV layout and we just set, um, select a place to put it. So I have a folder already and let's just name this Susan. Okay, um, next, what you want to go or what you want to do next is if you go to the UV layout options, export options, um, you will see all UVs. You can check, um, check this just to be sure you're exporting all UVs because most of the times you have some UV hidden um, because of if you're trying to lessen the UV layout so you can edit something. So you need to check that so you don't forget anything. And also, importantly, you want to switch it from PNG to Scalable Vector Graphics. So it does SVG. So once you select this, then you can forget about... For this situation, we don't need to um, worry about the size. So just for prosperity, I'm just going to put set the field uh, opacity to 1. And once you do that, you just hit Export UV Layout. And it's as easy as that. So let's just close this up. I'll just leave it open because we'll use it to check the check whether it's match the final re uh, result. Um, so I will just move this aside, and then let's import the SVG um, UV layout we just exported. So you go to import and look for scalable vector graphics that's dot SVG then if you click on that I'll just go where I said uh, saved it I'll just select and it looks like nothing happens that's because um, it's there um, it's just later so here's it okay so right now it's um, the beach is less us. Um, right now we're seeing we're having some errors, which should not be. So let's try redoing the whole process again uh, quickly. Um, but this time, uh... okay. Well, actually, <laughs> oh my bad. We it was successful. It's just I didn't select some object. I I didn't select some of it. So to be to be sure I select everything this time, I will go to a separate layer and redo the action. So import SVG and Susan. 
okay then i can just press ctrl a to be sure i oh i can just press a to select everything and then scale it out so now you can see we're actually we have all the faces um present so it's this is what we want uh if i go into the edit mode so you will notice this is a curve because an svg is just a vector object so an, a vector object is best described as a curve so it can always it's, it will never lose any pixels um so that's what this is this is and to convert it to geometry you can just select all and just shift click on just one and press alt c um, this shortcut has changed in Blender 2.8, but it's just the same workflow. So, Alt C and select Mesh from Curve. Okay. So once you do that, um, it has created faces. But then you notice it has also created some unwanted triangles. So don't worry about that. We're going to fix that in a bit. But before that, let's just join it as one object, so that uh, we can just. Uh, focus on just one object so I will just center the origin and enter the edit mode so first of all let's fix the triangulation so to fix that just press alt um, C no sorry alt J so alt J fix that and before, before any other thing let's press F6 and so what you see here you see max face angle and max max uh, shape angle so I don't know what all that means, but what in my own, how I fix that, I just select it too and click on 120. So 120 is the highest value you can go. And once you do that, it fixes everything. It fixes everything. Um, so we are all good. So the last problem we have to fix is these are all individual faces. And to deal with that, you just select all of them, clicking on W and remove doubles, and then it makes it one whole mesh. So basically that's that now we have we have imported successfully the uv layout so let's check whether it's actually um one to one with the susan monkey uh we'll just move this here and let's enable wireframe okay um then we go into the edit mode and let's check so if you look closely, we it was it's quite accurate. Um, with it's quite same with the initial UV layout as you can see. So that's basically that. That's just how you can uh, unwrap your 3D model in, inside your 3D view. So I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you found it useful and you want to suggest it to other Blender users, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can suggest it. And it, the reason I actually made this tutorial was because um, the next tutorial I'm going to upload, with the next tutorial I'll be uploading is going to heavily re um, rely on this basic um, tax. So once you understand this, we're going to be using this in the next tutorial because I want to speed it up. I don't want to have to teach this in the next tutorial. So thank you again for watching. Bye bye for now.